Hey guys, so today I have a short little food video. So I made my first jar of pickled peppers from my garden. I finally had enough from a harvest and I was like, I'm going to pickle them right away because that's what I like to do with the hot ones. Um, now I didn't show in the video the peppers that I used. Um, I, I showed them as I was cutting them. Um, but I started cutting them while I was making dinner and filmed that part first. And then I was like, I didn't even show the bowl of what I, I had in there. So <laughs> don't mind that. And um, some of the clips are silent and I will try to do some voiceovers and stuff, but I filmed a lot of it during dinner and it was just noisy. The TVs were on, phones were playing and stuff like that. Music was playing, people were talking. So um, I just silenced those clips. But um, I guess I'll tell you right now what I added and then I'll kind of, you know, reiterate it as I'm going through the clips. But um, I added three hot banana peppers one jalapeno, one, oh, I forget the name of the pepper, shishito, one shishito pepper. Um, and then I added, if you can see, some dill from my garden. And then the garlic, I, I chopped up some garlic and put it in there. Now that I got from the grocery store. And then I put vinegar, water, sugar, and salt all in this jar. And it is a peach jar. <laughs> It's um a leftover peaches jar that I had um, because I couldn't find um, a regular like mason jar. I don't know what I did with my mason. I'm going to have to look for those and I do need to get more because I did do a lot of pickle making last year and pickled peppers and stuff like that. But um, I'm really excited to try these um, and I will try them at the end of the video, I just, I have to pop them in the fridge, um, and cool them down because I don't want to eat them hot. So I'll film that part in the morning. Um, it's like 7 30, 8 o'clock at night right now. So they're not going to be cold enough by the time, um, I film tasting them because I haven't even put like, they're ready to go in the fridge now. So, but, um, yeah, I will show now the clips of me making it. I have my medium saucepan ready on the stove. I'm going to pour half a cup of vinegar. Three fourth cups of water. A teaspoon of salt. and two tablespoons of sugar.
I also added an, another third cup of vinegar. And now we're just going to let that boil. I'm using an old peaches can, adding some chopped garlic. Added the garlic to the jar, adding some fresh dill from my garden into the jar, then added the peppers. The water is now boiling. I meant to say brine, but we are now pouring the brine into the jar. giving it a good shake. So I'm really excited. Um, I've been waiting a long time to make pickled peppers and some pickles. I finally have my first cucumber. So um, I think I'm gonna make pickles with that one. It'll be like a really small jar of pickles, but um, I think I might make uh, slices instead of spears because I love I really like putting the pickles like on my burgers my sandwiches and stuff like that and um, I really don't have many pickle chips like the circle rounds left in my fridge right now and I need to get a new jar so why not just make my new jar so I think I'm gonna do that next because I did like I said, I harvested a cucumber today and then I'm going to throw maybe just, um, I harvested, um, some sweet peppers. So I'm going to throw maybe a little bit of peppers in there. Um, some garlic, some dill, like, and I'm going to make pickles with my, my harvest. So, <laughs> and I am going to try these. So that part I am filming tomorrow morning. So here I will insert that clip of how these taste. So they've been sitting in the fridge for an hour. I'm in my bed clothes. It's like a nine o'clock at night, <laughs> even more like close to an hour and a half. But I thought I would just, I'm, I, I want to try them tonight. We are, we have a long day tomorrow. Today is Sunday. Monday is Royce's birthday. Um, this is pre-filmed, by the way. Um, Royce's birthday has already passed since this video is out. Um, but <laughs> we have two hours of driving, maybe a little bit more. Then we have eight hours at Knobles. And then two-ish hours of driving home. So I have no time tomorrow whatsoever. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm waking up walking, drinking my protein shake, we're eating breakfast, we're packing up to go, and we are going to Knobles and spending the entire day there. And then when we get home, it will be after 10 o'clock and we will all be going to bed. So I'm gonna try these tonight. Oh, there we go. I couldn't open them for a second. They're like sealed. They smell good. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna try this one right on the top. It's got no seeds in it. Right here, that's a banana pepper. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, man, that's hot. Tastes delicious, but that is hot. Mmm. I'm gonna try to see if I can find one of those. Um, oh, that's all the way down in there. 
one of the sweet peppers. Here we go, right here. This is one of the, what did I say they were? Shishito peppers. We're gonna try that one. That's really good. Still has some heat because of all the other peppers and the seeds in there. There's lots of seeds. But the flavor, mmm, it is delicious. That was a great combination of vinegar, water, salt, sugar, and then I put some dill and garlic. That is going to taste really, really good on top of sandwiches, on top of hot dogs, on top of burgers. This is going to be really good. This That's what we use these... Um, pickled peppers for anyway, especially the hot ones. We use them for sandwiches and that kind of stuff. We don't eat them like by themselves. Cause I feel like on a sandwich with a bunch of other foods on it, like cold cuts and tomatoes and stuff to kind of take away from the heat. It takes away from the heat a little bit. Um, as opposed to just eating them from the jar. That's really hot. Um, but yeah, that was actually, these are really good. They're hot. They're not overly, overly hot, but they are hot, but they're really good. So I'm excited um, to eat these like on some sandwiches and stuff. Actually, we are going to Knoebels tomorrow and we are doing sandwiches for lunch. We are bringing lunch meats and bread and all that stuff. So I think I'm going to pack these too and we'll have some peppers to put on our sandwiches perfect but yeah but that is everything for this video if you want to see more of my pickling videos and you know i'm gonna try some maybe some different pickling recipes to make the just to make them a little different them all a little different because um it gets boring doing the same thing each time so um or if you have any pickle recipes that like with um, certain spices, herbs, all that stuff. Let me know down in the comments. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.